bit far apart. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to Hat Hole Home Video. Uh, I was supposed to be filming, editing, uh, uploading the next episode of VHS Dreadful, but a funny thing happened to me on the way to the basement. Uh, I got a bone infection in my face. A little bit of my root canal pulled away from the, the tooth and it allowed for uh, an, an infection. And uh, so I've been real miserable for a few days. Uh, too, too painful to sleep. So that's fun. But I'm, I'm, I'm way better. Antibiotics. I found out that I can take way more ibuprofen than I was taking. Um, so I'm on the mend. But it really threw a monkey wrench into the machine uh, as far as filming VHS Dreadful goes. But point is, is I decided today to instead uh, distract myself with a little diversion, a little thrift store diversion. That's right. The savers up the road. It's just the best. It just always makes, it's my happy place. Makes me feel good. So I decided today that that's what I was gonna do. I guess uh, we should head that way. I mean, I already did. I'm filming this after the fact. But uh, how do you suppose? How do you suppose I got to Savers? Maybe a laid back instrumental montage? Right away, my nerd senses are going off. We've got Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace, Cup Toppers. Uh, I I don't know what it is about these cup toppers. They were a big thing back in the day. I remember the Land Before Time ones when I was a little kid. God, those were awesome. Um, and all of these are still in there. Look, there's Boss Nass. There's Sobolba, uh, Queen Amidala. Oh, my God. The, the question here is not do I get one, but which one? I bought the Mace Windu, okay? Um, and before you get mad at me, because you're like, Brian, you broke up the set. It was a collectible set, and you broke it up. You stole Mace Windu from the set. How dare you? I didn't know this at the time. I thought I was a home wrecker. I thought I was a set breaker. When I got home, I realized there was a Yoda that wasn't there, and there was a Jar Jar Binks that wasn't there. So I didn't break up a complete set. I just further broke up an incomplete set. Also, I want to point out that the advertising for this was incredible. It was commercials featuring Colonel Sanders, the Taco Bell dog, and a Pizza Hut girl, because they didn't have a mascot, I guess at the time, fighting the droid armies in Phantom Menace. But back to the Tupperware aisle at Savers, we got this little mermaid lunchbox. I, 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 all these 80s and 90s lunchboxes, I, I, I just always think they're super cool. They remind me of growing up. And then this, uh, maybe the most 90s cup I've ever seen in my entire life. A, uh, a Larry Bird. Is it just, was it just Larry Bird or was it Jordan? Yeah, j I thought for a second I thought it was Jordan versus Bird. But it's not. It's just Larry Bird. And it is 90s. And looky who we find right as we enter the toy aisle do you remember these? They're Christmas 
McDonald's Muppet Baby toys. Look, still has the tag on it. That's awesome. I still have these from when I was a kid. Uh, and this Kermit is incredibly schmooshed. But uh, it, it's so cool to see. I don't see these around very much anymore. I really have to say this. The fast food, your toy game in the 80s and in the early 90s was top notch. There are so many toys that I have the most nostalgia for that I'm starting to realize there's lots of them that I didn't even think about that they were McDonald's toys or they were Burger King toys, but they were. And that's wild. Like, we don't live in that world anymore. Ooh, we got ourselves a Ninja Turtles puzzle. Looks like Bebop and Rocksteady, in their human form, coming after April O'Neil. And I, I don't know what this is. Like, I think it's always funny when I find Garfield stuff. I like some Garfield stuff. I watched the cartoon as a kid. Uh, I don't know what this is. I thought it was like like a back scratcher. Like, it looks like one of those like vibrating, you know, neck massager things that they sell nowadays. But it's it's from back in the day. I don't know what it is. Please tell me. <laughs> Enlighten me. Uh, but this, I know what it is. This is the Domino Rally Domino Dealer, the automatic domino laying little vehicle. Um, if you don't, Domino Rally was so awesome. I remember the commercials for these. Okay, it's not vintage, but it's a big, ugly rat. It's adorable. I feel like uh, I feel like I should probably buy this for the the Doctor Zotto, the VHS Dreadful set. I don't know. Ooh, but you want to talk about collectible. I got to imagine that a boxed Teddy Ruxpin, or Ruxpin, I'm realizing now that I've been saying it wrong my entire life. It's Ruxpin, not Ruxbin. Um, a boxed Teddy Ruxpin's got to be worth a, a, a pretty penny. Um, I don't know if I've seen a, this box since, you know, probably seeing it on the store shelf at Children's Palace when I was eight years old. It's super cool to see, and look at the, the enemies, you forget. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can All he does is tell stories about friendship, caring, sharing. And he goes on adventures where the only thing he captures I would like you to meet some of is a child's friends. imagination. We're going to have lots of good times together. Somebody framed the lyrics to the Ninja Turtles theme song. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> but I had to show it. And we got some comic books, which you actually don't see here at Savers too often. Some interesting things. Of course, nothing more what than the Jonathan Frakes comic book. Uh, Wolverine butt. Uh, why? Why does this exist? What is this? It's... It's a comic, a, I, I guess it's a biography about the life of Jonathan Frakes. But we finally made our way back to the electronics department, and look at this beautiful old 8-track stereo. Uh, I just think it, it's glorious. So, there's something going on with these lights. At first I thought it was just that the lights were out, but as I cycle through the tracks... They're sort of inconsistently working and not working. So something is going on here that's more complicated, but it's a it's a beautiful old system. And then look at this beauty. I, we had, when I was a kid, we had, I think it was this exact one. Um, my dad can confirm when he watches this video. I think it was literally this exact TV we had on the kitchen table. Um, I watched a lot of Saturday morning cartoons on this little black and white TV. Uh, it's just beautiful. Just, this is what I'm looking for when I go to Savers. And you don't find these anymore. Now, this big old chunk of metal, uh, this thing weighs 30 pounds. I'm not joking. The Showpack 300, it's it's a, a slide projector. But this, it is a beast I, I looked i tried to look it up online when i got home all i can really figure out is it's probably from the 50s there's really no information on this model number or anything but it is it is just built like to withstand 
an atom bomb. I feel like it would be this and the cockroaches would be all that was left. Oh, you know, I can't resist these little portable cassette players. I don't know what it is about them. I just always think they're cool. They remind me of like uh, a police interrogation of, uh, you know, a psychic that murdered the <laughs> college students or something. Uh, the super shooter, these old Polaroid cameras are kind of neat too. I don't remember ever see, I don't know what era these are from, but I, I feel like they must have been before my time or and, and kind of become obsolete because I don't even remember these from my own childhood, uh, but they're, they're very cool. And this, I definitely would put in the you don't see this every day at Savers category. Uh, a hair, a hairdresser, a hair dryer chair. Uh, is that what, the, did they dry? What did these do? You always see like in the, in movies in the fifties and stuff. It's always the ladies. It's like the Edward Scissorhands ladies with the, the dome on their head. I su is it just a heat heater dryer? What does it do? Ladies? All right. I guess it's going to do it for me today. Don't know why I start. I think when I say all right. All right, it, it automatically starts turning into this voice, which is a problem. It's probably a sign of mental illness on my part, but, um, you know, some kind, some mental illness is just a fun ride, you know? Some of it's real bad, some of it's real dark, but some of it's kind of fun. Uh, so, in any case, uh, I want to thank everybody for hanging out today on my, my fun little thrifting run. Um, obviously, thank you to the patrons, and if you could, folks, you don't have to be a patron. You don't have to give me a million dollars. You can if you want, but you don't have to. What you could do instead, which is free to you, although you do have to have internet access, and that costs money, and you have to have a computer or a phone. Those things cost money, but maybe you're not paying for them. Maybe your work pays for them. Maybe your parent or guardian pays for them. I don't know, but in any case, essentially what you could do that is free is hit the subscribe button. That is awesome. That helps me and that helps you because when I do stuff, you can find it better. Um, you can leave glowing praise in the comments or no, I'm going to say for comments, glowing praise. I was going to say, you know, you can be mean and leave insults because it all counts as engagement. But I feel like uh, YouTube might filter out negative comments and therefore it wouldn't add to the engagement something like that but thumbs up or thumbs down both of those count as engagement so like thumb away whichever direction you like to thumb thumb this video and uh share like if you like this and you have people that are like you and you think would also like this let them know bring them into the tent you know what i mean like there's plenty of space plenty of space mace windu's little he, he barely takes up any room. He almost fits in my pocket. So we got, look at, I have all this space right here. All of this space that we could still fill with subscribers. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's all. So folks, whether you are a dirty dog sleeping in the sun or an alley rat eating up the night, you know that you are always welcome here at Hat Hole Home Video.